So the airline reckoned I missed the um, section of your luggage is not paid for. So here I am in Bali and one big lesson, make sure your fucking luggage is paid for before you get on the plane. And they wanted $250 in the airport, so I just thought, fuck it. So for three months, that's what I've got. Four t-shirts. So here I am, day one in Bali. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I was 100% devoted father and partner um, for over like five years. I keep everything away for my passion to be all that I can be for my partner and my kids. And um, yeah, it's my daughter's fourth birthday coming up soon and dad felt it was time to go on a self-discovery mission to search out some inner happiness because happy dad means happy children, happy wife, happy life. But you can't be a happy dad trying to get your happiness from your children or from your partner. You've got to be happy within for them to thrive off you, for them to bounce off you. Okay, so I've stepped into the dark, I've come out here in Bali for eight days to get back on my soul path, <clears throat> do a bit of self discovery, a bit of soul searching. And this is for you, my children. You know? This is so you, when you get older, you believe in yourself and you realize it's, you've got to be happy. You don't try and find happiness from someone else to be happy with you. So I saved up a little bit of money, got out here, and here I am, day one. So, 12 years ago, I left. UK, um, stepping into the dark, leaving family and friends behind, it's a long story short, because I believe there was more to life and there was more towards my unhappiness and what I could, how I could fulfill my life and um, create more with my life, be who I wanted to be with no one else's opinions and um, achieve what I wanted to achieve with my own beliefs and uh, yeah, 12 years later. Here I am on another little journey because I believe that I can do it all again and achieve more and see more and, and I'm ready for the next chapter. Uh, but mostly I've done this because I believe that I could um, create a new a new start for my kids. That's why I felt that leaving the UK was a great decision and I've just proved myself 100% right because my kids have now got the best start in life in a beautiful country, New Zealand. And, um, now I want to delve into another part of life so they have a more creative path as well. So I want to open a new chapter and I want to go and search for some schooling and education where they can be creative and just have a different a different start in life, even if it's a few months or a year, I just want them to come explore themselves and their souls and so they can be who they want to be. I'm not just go down one path of schooling and education, I want them to be able to be themselves as well and not just fall into the mundane 9 to 5 and try and achieve what everyone else is on TV. This place is about soul searching. Here I am on my little go-ped, moped. Just living down there. In this fuzzy little area. There's my flash ride for the, for the week. Let's do this. Here we go. Let's go hit Bali. My little go-ped moped. So here I am. Here I am day one Bali. My yeah. sis here, hello. Lucas and we've just been in the cafe just there and had a nice green drink sat on the table. I'm starting my little cleanse here. I've got my 
flaxseed, my turmeric, my coconut juice, and this. Moringa. Just put it all into one little glass. And I'm gonna get high off life. <laughs> so Luke's got the clips of the breathwork ceremony I did with him, so I can't add them in, so I'm just gonna add a little voice into, um, into my clip there. And it's what I went through, and what I went through was Luke taking me through a process because he is a qualified practitioner in breathwork and he took me through a process of deep breathing through the diaphragm, through the mouth, it's like, like that. 45 minutes, there's the goal, there's your timer, 45 minutes. And literally within like two minutes of deep breathing, your body is just flooded with oxygen and you set your intention and look whatever you want to work on that breath work and him taking you through the process, you can just let go of any how I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I just like literally went into an emotional state of letting go of anything which I didn't need to hold on to uh, emotionally. And um, yeah, I don't need to say what it was on here, but it was just great to miss my children so much and just, uh, just love them open heartedly and I have just released anything I don't need to be holding on to and that's baggage man that's how people get sick so yes Lucas that was just amazing phenomenal I would recommend it to anyone who needs to let go of anything or needs to deal with anything emotional thank you for that day one straight to the gym with Lucas Check this out. So calming. Yeah, Lucas. What do you feel like yeah. doing, brother? These trees are dope, eh? What's it called? Monkey what? Monkey forest. Monkey forest. Baby! Here we are, just uh, working some abs out with Lucas, you know. Getting in the cultural, getting the real cultural vibe here. I love these gyms. Workout's complete, and now it's feed time for the brothers. Check this place out. Just another amazing place. Our food. Here we go. I'm on the other side of the room now. Um, check what's behind me, what you look out to. Beautiful cafe. And then behind, there's some temples. Pyramid temples, where they go and do like sound, um, meditation and stuff. I just love this vibe, it's just beautiful. required to be kind, smile speaks kindness 
within today's quote of the day. Here we are. That's our quota ceremony. We're we'll we'll going deep, into, deep the jungle. into the jungle. We've got our two brothers here behind us. There's four of us crazy asses going out there, and we're going to be following. Deep down some steps. Can you hear the waterfall? That's where we're headed. With the brother Barsham behind me. So you can see we're here. The moon's out. Our shamans are setting up. In the background here. Setting. We're going to be getting in there soon. And then after the um, water purification came, that was the next level. That was something that you would never experience um, probably anywhere in the world. That was just like a one-off special chance, something someone that Lucas knew and he took us to and this guy did a special water ceremony where he took us to this spring, fresh, clean waterfall and um, Pretty much, he took you through a ceremony, you meditated, you set your intention, then he takes you through the water, and then when you're in the water, he takes you through this process of just cleansing um, under the water, out of the water, and just, oh, man, it's just wonderful. You, you know, apparently, you're, you know, you're still processing what you go through days and weeks and months after, because your intention is set, that water just purifies you, you're even drinking the water to cleanse your body, and, um, yeah, the magic is all done on levels which you can't even think about. So just another magical experience. And it's all intention setting, you know? Intending to do the sound healing, to cleanse your, you know, to cleanse yourself, your mind, body, soul. Intending to do the water purification, intending to do the medication, intending to do the fitness, intending to do the, the um, the vegan, uh, vegetarian eating, intending to do the runs and the sweat outs, intending to do the breath work to get as much out of my seven days. That's the thing, you set your intention and the results come from that. Be good. Party, baby. Kids. Hey brother. Yo. Check it out. Bali life. Check out the uh, souvenirs. Find a few good ones here. Bit of a run. Shit. Let's check this quick. Yo, run finished. Getting that hydration in. Fresh coconuts up the tree. It's a beautiful place. With the saw going on in the background. Okay, so we're in the Seeds of Life cafe right now, and um, check this out. This is my eggs and bacon breakfast, but it's actually eggplant, mushrooms, and um, corn instead of eggs. And Heather's got this amazing fruit bowl made with love, and Luke's got a superpower smoothie with some some tea kind of drink going on there. This is before I work out of the day. A uh, little interval break, uh, halfway and I run up the hill. Shit. Quick uh, coconut stop. Check this out behind. 
kind of ice cream that's been tuned with forks and energy driven into it for your taste buds. I'm going to Luke's place for the sound healing. See on the bottom here, pyramids of chi this way. Here we go. And then we got the sound healing. So the sound healing day was just phenomenal. Again, we went inside the pyramids, the pyramids of Chi, and this is just specially set up for um, it's called the sound healing. And you're in the temple, you're inside, and literally the um, energy of, of the sound is just purifying your body because you've got to imagine your body is 90% water, whatever, and. Um, it's just proven that you know sound affects water. It's very proven scientifically proven, and so you're inside this temple, and your body's just ringing with sound, and it's just balancing out your whole body and mind and thoughts and process. And yeah, the sound here was was amazing again. And you just you're in there, your eyes are closed, and your mind's just humming. Fantastic, clears your mind, clears your body. Yep. Sound heater was, was another fantastic process. So we're at Sage Cafe restaurant. Um, I've not eaten red meat. I've had one fish meal for like five days now. But everything like this here, it's like an alternative to a chicken wing. And it's what? It's like a tempeh, tempeh. tempeh which is um, soybeans. Been fermented, all whole foods, mm. super delicious. So good, so I'm not eating no dead animal with fueled with um, steroids and shit and fear. I mean, it's beautiful, fresh food. The whole dish is done like this. Let's do it, Am. Okay, 6 a.m. Now, getting ready for Lucas and Hella to come. We're off for a kickboxing class an hour away. This is my Little bed and breakfast where I'm staying right now. What's up? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go do this. On the way to our keep watching class. Dashing out the pink today. Conditioning in the midst of it here in Bali. Oh, what we love. Okay, it's the way. Three rounds on the bikes, three rounds on the pads with them ninjas. Oh. Feeling it, man. Three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. <laughs> Session complete. <laughs> Get 
taking the juices down. Luke's mm -hmm. just had his protein. A um, little protein ball. Protein ball. Mm -hmm. And that's us. Good it's time. Beach this hella, do you know? Yeah. Seminyaki Beach. <laughs> what else you would say? Seminyaki. Like Seminyaki. Seminyaki Beach. Seminyaki. <laughs> Imaki my England. Here we are. Upstairs here in um, Fussy Bird Restaurant. Luke and Hannah down there. I just want to show you like everywhere around. The temples everywhere. Just beautiful temples everywhere. Some nice little messages. Is it peeps? It's really good. Delicious. Good. We're in Fussy Bird right now. Just upstairs. Day five or day six, gym day. Back in our own camp. Just gonna take you through to this other room quickly. This place is Check this out. Man, what I could do with this place. Check this out for relaxing movers. We've got our own deck chairs here. <laughs> At the back, you got the couch if you want. Yes, please. Yes, please. I would like some food with my $5 ticket to get in. Okay, I've got to get this in here. This beast. <laughs> yeah. I think definitely vegetarian, could even be gluten free, wheat free. My first carbs, my first meal of the day. My first carbs in a while. First carbs in a week. 
and awake and then smash it. So it's my last day here. A little bit burnt. Um, just want to say thank you to my room. It's been a blessing. Just have a little listen. Motorbike. The birds. The cockroach just go all day. Sounds of body. Dogs barking. Little birds tweeting. the ants. Holy, look at that. <laughs> they got like toe tenses on or they got Nikes on what? <laughs> no, you don't want really not. I'm scared of my hand. I'm going to put a collar on and keep it as a pet. There's my little bad boy. Lovely lady. Put my gas up. Proper gas station. In it. Cool, thank you. Go in the distance. I don't know if you can see it from here. I probably can't, but we're just going to be way up there. Yeah. I've got this little water fan in here. Got a drip lab is still looking to be in this uh, nice little No, breezy girl. Good. Does anyone here know Ryan Wilkinson? Builders? Do you know Ryan? No? I hear he's, he needs labourers. No. I can't wait to see him, but they got up there. Totally the, op totally the opposite destination where we was heading was heading for the mountain and we ended up here. Detoxing for like six, seven days, so there you go. First local beer. What better spot to do it in? We are, we are, I don't even know what waterfall is called, but uh, we've landed right where we need to be. Look. Don't worry if it's sexy. There's a rainbow in the background. We've just been in. Full circle. Hello. Hello. So we're just uh, halfway up the uh, waterfall and we're gonna pay another little another little feed to carry on to the top and they need a quick snippet with Luke and all of his tattoos. Beautiful lady in here. Oh look at that. <laughs> Yeah, this is our meant to be our day of the morning, but um, we're 
misguided. Misguided to here. Look at that. What's up, brother? Got our own little spa pool going on. Looking at the uh, the view to our gym, our Les Mills downstairs. There we go. We're working out just in there, baby. Let's go do this. Let's go, brother. Let's go pump our last day out, yeah. Okay, this is it. Five, nearly six a.m. Goodbyes to my peeps. We've got an hour's ride to the airport. Hello. Thank you for having me. Aww. I'll see you guys soon. Yeah. <laughs> Long time, baby. Yeah, we're off to the airport. Last day. Dragons in front of two dragons. It's just been an epic um, seven day internal cleanse, mind, body, soul, and uh, that's it. Headed to UK as me again. Yeah, fresh. Oh, well, I gotta thank you, brother, deeply. Bro, mm. thank you. Thank you for coming and spending this time with me. It's been dope. Right. It's just been awesome, man, and uh, this journey will continue from here onwards. See you. So, see you, brother. See you, bro. He's gone. Ooh. Sad. Good man. Good man. Good man. So, back to being with me again. Hong Kong first. Then London bound, baby. So, here's my final message to my little blog. Um, after my Bali trip, I'm now in Hong Kong airport on my way to UK. This is the in-between world and I've just got to thank Hedda and Luke for their amazing um, hospitality and the beautiful, magical space they held for me. Um, whilst I was going through my process, my mind, body and soul detox, which was amazing, you know. We just went through breath work, we went through sound healing, water purification, cleansing, we did kickboxing, we went for runs, we did gym work, fitness work, we did everything and uh, I'm just feeling fantastic. I'm feeling like me again, this is the old me, this is who I used to be, you know, uh, we've, we've done meditation, we have, we've been watching docos on inspiration and I've gone through a huge process of, of, of amazing um, insights for what I can provide for my children and I'm looking very excited. I'm back in my excited zone again. I am goal setting and I am set for living my dreams again. And um, this is only through my own process, you know. This is only me that's finding me again. And um, yeah, you lose yourself, you get yourself back. And hello, Luke. Man, thank you for that space you held to me. 
and this is just the start baby it's not a goodbye it's a hello and welcome welcome to the future welcome to excitement welcome to being who we want to be